All right, good morning. We're going to talk a little bit about Plex Navigation. The very first screen that we have here is our login screen. And I'm going to go ahead and enter in my company code and my user ID and my password. And right away, you're going to see that it's bringing me to the launch page or the landing page. On the left-hand side, we have PCN access. In the middle here, we have potential company messages uh, that may or may not require an acknowledgement. We have our open assignments. So in this case, I've got checklists and workflow open assignments. Here, you'll see my favorites. And down here, you're going to see a little bit of breadcrumbs uh, sort of history. So everything and everywhere I've been in the last 15 to 20 screens. So up here, uh, we have a little menu icon. And if I go ahead and click that, you're going to see all of the potential menus in here. So if I would click, say, customer and sales, and then customer master data management and navigate over to customers, I'm going to get my customer screen. I could also use the go to menu search and type in the word customer and hit enter. And it's going to give me all of the screens and reports down here. If I just type customer like this, you'll see this little window pop up. It's going to show me the first five potential options for the menu and the next five potential reports that I could also access. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to click customers here. And pretty much every screen looks the same. At the top here, we have our filters. And down below, we have our grid results. And in between here, we have an action bar. So if I was going to use my customers here and just hit wide open search, and you'll see how the filters shrunk up. And that is to give us more real estate down here in our grid results. If you don't like that, you can simply click show all filters, use the little push, push pin here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna hold these filters open. So as I hit search, these don't go away. And if you wanna put them back, you simply uncheck your pin and go back and your grid results will give you that more real estate here at the bottom. So in our action bar here, I could simply click on add to add a new customer record. I could come back here and we could edit an existing customer. I could click that little hyperlink and it's gonna bring me in with my list of sub menus. Uh, these sub menus are rearrangeable. So by simply clicking and dragging, uh, I could have my default page always be my customer addresses or the customer details when navigating in. When you're looking for records, if the wild card is a percent sign. So if I wanted to look for all customers that end in LF, I could simply put a percent sign with an LF and click search. And it's going to display in my grid results only the customer codes that and uh, with an LF in there. So here, if I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clear this and go back and we're gonna go search, um, I have favorites up here. You know, favorites look just like our browser favorites with a little star. So if I go to a different screen, go to parts, and I wanna add parts to my favorites, I simply click this little star here and say, add to favorites. And it's gonna pop up a little screen. I'm gonna say, okay and the order that I want them in, I can rename it and simply say, okay. So now in my favorites, you're going to see parts and you're also going to see if I go back to my landing page, you're gonna see parts now added around in here. I could have duplicate sessions. I could simply right click on my tab and now have two sessions of the same. I could use the gears here and simply say duplicate tab and that's going to give me the same results. Um, we could also do emailing here out of Plex. So if I go to sales orders and if I put a percent sign here, I'm just gonna look for wide open sales orders. I could simply come into my order number. I could do print my order acknowledgement and I'm gonna have a little email button here at the top. And I can simply see email and I'm, I can fill in some message body in here, change the subject. I can pick my two contacts and this will look inside of Plex for existing contacts. I could manually put in an uh, email address here and send it. If I click here, Plex is going to track the email that was sent out to show that there was some history uh, there and it'll keep it with the attachment as well. Um, let's go back here. I could download uh, options in here. So if I go back to, let's use our menu search and I'm going to go back to uh, 
customers. I'm gonna click a little more information, pull it up at the top. And if I hit my wide open search here, I've got a grid list here of my customers. I can export them and it's going to pull here a download and uh, it'll simply open up an Excel file and you'll see here my list of customers uh, that I have done an export on. Each customer has, in this case here, when you see these little paperclip icons, that's where you could add attachments. So if I wanted to see what attachment was in here, um, I could do this and download uh, a co the copy of the attachment. So you can see this one has two and this one has one. Inside of the customers, we have everything is tracked. And this is not just for customers. This is for all parts in Plex. Um, there's usually a little book in here. You'll see it's got a revision history. So Plex will actually track all of the changes to different records inside of Plex. And this includes sales orders, customers, parts, anything like that. You've got a wonderful little revision history tracking in there. Um, what we're going to do here is on this side, um, if I, what we see here is the blue is our production environment and I can go here and I'm going to go copy tab in test mode. And what you're going to see is going to go bright orange. And the test mode is a copy of the production database. And that gets reset every day at midnight. So it, every day at midnight, whatever new customers, data, setting, setup tables that I do, it's going to be in here. So you're always working with a current copy of a test environment. And one of the last things we're gonna talk about is the documentation here. So if I go into the documentation, it's going to show me some Plex standard documentation involving customers. So adding customers, editing customers. I can also use the search bar here to say, look for something like a customer upload. And it's going to show me all of the community results here for customer upload. And I can see that inside of Plex here.